Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like our sisters, penalizing our brothers, disappearing our fathers, turning our leaders to martyrs, stealing our art from the artists. This is the trauma you taught us. Just know we built with resilience, though we've been hit hard. When it's too much, we don't let go, we let go. Take the wheel, on this course much better feel My emotions get the best of me, damn it, vendettas are real How are we, highly favored, when we're tasered and target practice For the far right, fascists, blue, heartless bastards who partake You already know what it is man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang Yes, let's ride, hop in the bands, you say you wasn't gonna watch it But I'm driving again, and you here Salute to my guy Showtime SP, and nobody that knows bodies Gang gang ARP Take, this is ARP versus Sue Surf, take 45, you know what I'm saying? These niggas have been back and forth. I think that a Sue Surf versus ARP face-off, a Sue Surf versus ARP face-off would be probably one of the best things that ever happened in battle rap. They could do it on pay-per-view, they could do that shit on cafe, they could do that shit anywhere. Like, these two niggas at a table, they don't even need a moderator. They, I mean, they could have a moderator, black could do the shit, whatever. But, these niggas, these two niggas need to be sitting in front of each other's face to identify all of the shit and find out where these niggas went wrong. So, uh, I'll take you back. Uh, they've been going back and forth for quite a while. I think it was, uh, some of the most notable ones was like a year or so ago, Sue Surf told ARP, you book me, you pay me 30 thou, I'll come spin on your floor and leave or something like that. You know, that's mad disrespectful because a lot of these leagues, they don't be having big, big bread. ARP and them niggas, they be having bread, you know what I'm saying? They booked Hitman, they booked Conceited, they booked Calico more than once, they booked Ill with. So I know they got bread because guess what? These niggas don't battle for discounts. I, I know, I hear, and I talk to a lot of MCs about what they get paid. And trust and believe me, some of them are doing very good. Not all these motherfuckers, but a lot of them are doing very, very good. So, you know, they go there, then you know, uh, Sue Surf attacks him. Every time, um, no, Sue Surf attacks ARP. And every time ARP gets a chance to throw a dart back, because ARP is precise. Like, he has shit from, like, years and years ago. When he put his blogs together, he's not a blogger. This nigga ARP is, like, fucking... Uh, Professor X when it comes to this shit. I would never, I'm not, when it, I don't want no smoke with that nigga, and I don't ever, ever, ever want to say that I could do the shit that he does. I think this nigga has files, he has fucking shit on his desktop where he just snips the dip, 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 puts all this shit together. I remember one time, my nigga ARP called me, and I was going in about, uh, it was like, Jay Mills or some shit, like it was Jay Mills versus somebody, and I was going in on the car, and he called me, he said, yo, Vada, what's up, man? That shit was mad early in the morning. I said, oh, these niggas got niggas outside my house. What the fuck is going on out here? He's like, yo, I ain't never disrespect. This shit sounded like a blog, my nigga. We got to the bottom of it. We cool. It, we've always been cool ever since. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yo, this nigga, Sue Surf, he goes in. He's going in. You know what I'm saying? He's going in on Rare Breed Entertainment. He's calls him KFC. And I got, some, I got some screenshots. And I'll talk about some different things in correspondence to it in one second. So the first thing I see is Sue Surf says, it's Zero's talent on KFC's roster. Everybody came from URL. You know what I'm saying? Saying that there's no talent on the RBE roster. Everybody over there came from URL, right? And, you know, I've heard a lot of these conversations before because they, also, they often say, yeah, well, everybody on URL came from Lions Den or came from Grind Time or came from fucking Nazareth with Jesus. I get it. But y'all got to understand, these niggas got to all come from somewhere, man. You got like, like, that, that that argument, I get it, but it's it's kind of like old at this point. Like, hey, you came from here, they came from there. So, uh, Sue Surf says there's zero talent on RBD's roster. I can't, you know what I'm saying, confirm or deny it because I don't know who's all over there. I really don't. There ain't never been no fucking press rollout like these niggas, you know what I'm saying? I know they got the Brick Series and all of that, and I know it's a bunch of new guys that they're giving shots to. And I've seen, I ain't gonna hold you, whose battles have I seen? I seen Gwitty. I seen Remedy Loco. Uh, I seen some more niggas, a couple more niggas. I think I seen a round or two from the Pain nigga. He's pretty cold too, uh, and, and, and all of that. And I know it's a bunch of other cats in there too, but I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not the break down every single new nigga battle. Like I just, I, I, 
I, I don't have time to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, they, I get sent battles all the time. Niggas even offer to pay me to watch their battles. Yo, Vada, I'll pay you to recap this. I can't recap certain niggas over here. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. But if I go pick a battle with two niggas that nobody never saw before and recap it, just to do it, niggas is not gonna watch that. And I'm like, bro, we not here for that. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, what the fuck is up with Hitman? What's up with Surf? Like, nigga, that's what they here for. They here for that fake shit. I'm sorry, baby. I made it to that another level, another devil, another level. Let's get back to the topic. So, um, he says there's zero talent on the RBE roster, saying that, you know, all them niggas <laughs> that's over there is recycled from URL. So, uh, Gentles A says, A Mo, for the fact he keep calling them KFC, we know exactly who he's talking about. It's hilarious. Surf says, because we, we call it a spade a spade, league weak as hell, but he always running that damn trap. Like saying that, he's saying that, yo, your league is weak, but you always running your mouth. Because I know Surf was definitely, um, you know, firing darts at ARP because ARP be blogging and shit like that. But ARP been blogging since the beginning. And he's always gonna blog, you know what I'm saying? Like, and his roasts be legendary. He done put niggas in bags before. And Sirius Jones, and when that was like, when he gotta go in on you, he gonna go in on you. And when he goes in, he go, he gonna, he gonna fire your ass. He might tighten you up, sir. You might wanna watch that, he might tighten your ass. So, um, Art Remory Entertainment, I got a lot of love, a lot of respect for them, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, ARP is gonna fire back, whether on Twitter, he's gonna, that's one thing I do respect about ARP 2000%. He is going to defend his house. He's not the type of person that's gonna fall back, let niggas take shots, let niggas, he's not gonna do that. He's going to fire you up. That's just the way it goes. So Surf says, I mean, uh, Surf says that about Rare Breed, then Rare Breed comes out and says, you nailed it. We lost everything this year due to, thanks for being another person in the culture that has identified our losses. Cause Surf was saying that, Red Breed ain't had a card, you know what I'm saying? He's saying that Red Breed ain't had a card. Uh, he was replying to Piper Boy. When Piper Boy tweeted the blog that uh, that ARP drops, he says uh, ARP just dropped a bomb. And then Surf says the, the comment that made ARP jump in his back. Somebody asked ARP why it's been a whole year plus since Max out. They bankrupt, he's still blogging. Yo, what y'all niggas got for? What y'all niggas problems with the blog? I ain't tightened the nigga up last week for that shit. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. I don't want no issues, man. Shout out to Goods, man. But uh, he said, uh, why is, he said ARP is still blogging. Bro, let me tell you about, <laughs> oh, we not gonna do that today. But, uh, niggas be saying, we quick to go at bloggers, nigga. And the niggas that be going at the bloggers be blogging. Shit's weird, you know why? Because they know how much money's in. And the nigga who don't give a fuck about the money being made in drugs ain't gonna sell drugs, nigga. Trust me, and plus, they look at it like, yo, these niggas get watched just as much as we do, and these niggas ain't even rapping. I be rapping sometimes, I rap better than these niggas. But, um, they know that shit. So they be looking at it like, yo, these niggas getting bread, and they ain't even rapping. These niggas getting paid more than the mid-tier artists, they do. So, he said, ask him why it's been a whole year since the last Max out, right? So then, um, he goes, at, Surf goes at ARP again. You've been blogging the subject, you've been subjected to blogging, sitting in your house, Making 15 minute long blogs about the competition, Smack would never pray for KFC. Then, you know what I'm saying, niggas went on further and said, Sir, we're trying to figure out what happened with Midnight Madness while you trolling. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, yo, yeah, you can, sir, I ain't gonna lie. Midnight Madness flopped. That shit, it came, it came and went. Was what Chess said, easy come, easy go. And I heard that that was really based off of ego and shit like that. I'm not really going back down that road and breaking down who did what in the Midnight Madness. That's not really my thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, we spoke about it, but to rehash, basically Midnight Madness started, grand opening, couple battles, grand closing. There's a lot of niggas running around with belts that don't mean nothing, but the belt shit got devalued once Snake Eyes got his belt took in and then they bought another. The shit was devalued since then anyway, like, hold you. Like, you had mad niggas running around with mad belts, this belt for this belt, this belt for this nigga, and then the niggas wasn't defending them. Like, that's the thing, niggas just wanted the belts for Instagram pictures. They weren't defending them, you know what I'm saying? And it just went left and the shit went south. It was a good idea, but uh, a lot of niggas always felt like uh, URL was uh, arm, armchair quarterback and that shit anyway, so when niggas feel like that, it's like, ah, you know what I'm saying? URL got a lot of shit. They're a respectable league, they do a lot, they got an app. The app really ain't shit. They drop a bunch of battles that niggas don't give a fuck about. They watch dropping these shits from all these other events. I see the notification, I hit that bitch, I see, oh, what is this? No, never heard of these niggas, I don't even watch this shit. So, no disrespect, I mean, it is what it is, like, fuck you want me to do, I'ma call it like I call it, I don't give a fuck what league it is. 
So, uh, Surf responds saying, "I'm why would I? Why would I when I make six figures a year? He's gonna always go to that money shit. Like whenever a nigga try to come in, he's gonna definitely be like, yo, I make six figures a year battling. Why do I have to explain what happened with Midnight Madness? Cool. So back to the topic. ARP is always gonna defend his house. He's gonna defend his business model. He's gonna defend his business practice, and he's gonna be do what he does. There's a lot of people that love what ARP do." There's a lot of people that do what URL do. There's a lot of people that love both. There's a lot of people that don't like both. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say this. Uh, while, oh, and oh, ho, oh, oh, wait, I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm telling you, Surf is a petty ass nigga. He will take this shit wherever it needs to go and keep going too. So, uh, ARP said, wait, what is that? At Sue Surf with front row seats again. Guess he couldn't miss uh, straight to a volume two a couple months ago because Surf has been to Rare Breed Entertainment events. See, the thing is, the way that niggas look at Surf going to an RBE event is not the way that they'll look at anybody else that goes to an RBE. I remember when I used to be around niggas, they used to be like, nigga, they look at you like you was chilling with the ops about going to an RBE event. Niggas would text you like, yo, you really at that event? Uh-uh-uh-uh. Niggas would be mad. Like, they wouldn't even, like, niggas would get their feelings about it. Like, why are you there? You be over here with us. That's why, you know what I'm saying, it's best for I do what I do. Now I can talk about whatever league I want, whenever I want, nigga. But nigga don't even got my number. Fuck everybody. That's how I feel. So, um... He says, you know, he says, Surf is uh, at an RBE event. Surf says, promise is the word. And why would you be talking about Midnight Madness and URL and not URL versus RB, KF, KFC? Nothing more, nothing less. Don't forget we still got pics of you in that smack line and on that smack stage being a fan. And you standing in line like the fans over here. Saying that, you know, ARP went to a URL event. He has been to URL events, and he was saying he was standing in the um, in the line looking like a fan. Yo, these battle rappers, they put value in all of that shit. If you go to an event and you don't walk straight in the door and get the VIP treatment and all that shit, they look at you as a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, And you got to be like on the inside. You got to be plugged. You got to be buddy-buddy and shit for niggas to let you in. So if you're not that and you go to an event, you got to stand on the line. So niggas be like, yo, by the way, I'm, nigga, I'm not going. What do I look like going to an event and stand on the line for two hours? Way around the corner. So when something happens, niggas will hit you like, nigga, I saw you at the event, nigga, you standing online looking like a fan, nigga, no, you didn't, fuck that, I won't do that. Nope, I won't do it. I will not do it. That's the reason why I don't do it. So, um, so yeah, niggas is petty enough to use any kind of leverage that they have against you, whether it be standing on the line or, you know what I'm saying, you not walking straight into the venue or you being a fan, they're going to use whatever against you, you know what I'm saying, but uh, this is uh, <laughs> ARP versus... Sue Surf take 45. Like I said, it's been it's happened more than once. This is not the first time. This is not the last time. I'm sure it's not gonna be the last time. Surf be like the the no limit soldier. Fool, I'm the colonel of the motherfucking tank. Whenever it comes to URL shit, he's gonna be the first one. When people was tagging me and the shit that was going on, I said, I'm not surprised. Surf is gonna say whatever he gotta say any time of day. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he's definitely going at RBE and Rare Breed and ARP for blogging, but like I said, ARP been blogging for years, and there ain't no Twitter comments that's gonna stop that nigga from blogging. Because number one, he knows that there's money in it, uh, and number two, it's his way of defending his platform. Nobody else. If you don't defend your platform, as far as like if you're big like that, and artists are trying to tear you down, they're gonna start to a lie that goes unaddressed becomes the truth, whether niggas be like, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is gonna believe it because it's like, yo, Surf said this happened and you ain't defending it. So, and Surf has always over 100,000 followers on Twitter and has damn near half a million or over half a million on Instagram. So he's got way too big of a platform. Now, if a little nigga that don't, you know what I'm saying, got like 800 followers on Twitter says something about you, you're not gonna really like address it because it's like every time that you address someone or every time you go back and forth, you run the risk of getting your Twitter suspended. Or Instagram for sure. You definitely you you can't say nothing on the gram no more. They'll suspend your shit in a heartbeat. But Twitter, if you if you fly off the handle, they'll suspend you too. So he's like, nah, I ain't niggas ain't running the risk. But anyway, salute to every single one of y'all that watched this shit. You already know what it is. Gang, gang. Our sisters penalizing our brothers, disappearing our fathers, turning our leaders to martyrs, stealing our art from the artists. This is the trauma you taught us. Just know we built with resilience, though we've been hit hard when it's too much. We don't let go, we let go. Take the 
wheel On this course much better feel My emotions get the best of me Damn it, vendettas are real How are we highly favored When we're tasered and target practice For the far right fascists Blue heartless bastards who partake